<laughs> Please don't give me hype. I'm hype. Write my name in ice. ice. Can't ice. argue with these lazy. Today, I'm going to do a video I know y'all been waiting on because y'all love my job videos where I talk about jobs that I have worked. Those are the videos that get the most views on my channel. So, today's job is going to be Amazon. I'm going to talk about my experience working at Amazon. So, if you want to know all about Amazon continue watching i worked at amazon from august to november so that's how many uh september october november three months so i worked yeah i worked at amazon for three months all right so to start it off i was a stower and stowing is basically scanning all the items and putting them in pods which is so easy. You can put it anywhere as long as you're not putting it where the magenta light is. Girl, that magenta light. Let me tell y'all. She used to get on my nerves. But, yeah. That's throwing. Um, It was pretty easy to me. And it was, honestly, I can say this. That's some quick and easy money to make. So, if you're looking for a job to, you know, make some quick and easy cash because you get paid weekly and your your hours are guaranteed like whatever you sign up for is what you get i signed up for the monday tuesday thursday and friday shift from 7 to 5 30 p.m so 7 a.m to 5 30 p.m and y'all it was smooth it was real smooth that's what i signed up for and that's what i worked but I will say the only thing is you feel like you you in the gym, y'all. You feel like you was in the gym. Like you are constantly working. They want you to constantly go up and down that ladder, putting stuff in the pods for 10 hours. Like literally 10 hours. They want you to stow 250 items an hour. So in all, that would be 2,500 items a shift. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'll make it like sometimes depending on what kind of stuff, what kind of work we have. Like if we have like a bunch of small items and the pods are empty, then I'll make it. But most of the time, most of the times the pods were not empty and it was a lot of big stuff. So I never really made it that like that for real. And I mean, I don't think they're gonna say nothing or nothing for real, but it is your manager will come and do daily, you know check-ins with you and they let you know what your rate is and you know you need they'll tell you like you need to get it up and da da da, da whatever like i hear it it'll go in one ear and not the other because y'all not finna make me fall out in here and i already be hot in there like y'all know all warehouse all warehouses be hot though for real so yeah it be hot in there and i ain't finna pay a side fooling with them because they want me that like i'm a robot like no i get what i get so yeah, that was that. Um, I will say one issue that I had with mine is like the water spiders. It just depends on who's water spider. And water spider is the people that get the get the the work from the belt and they stack it up and make pallets and they bring you the pallets. So yeah, like it just depends on who water spider. Like one of the water spiders specifically used to get mad because I was fast let him tell it but i don't think i was fast for real like i was just i just do what i can and furthermore like i said you're supposed to scan 250 items an hour so for so you know i really have to be fast like not that fast but still kind of fast so i can at least you know make close to that and so he would give me two pallets at a time y'all and the pallets be let me see how many probably like four or five y'all i ain't i quit in november i quit november first so like i don't know like it'd be like 
four or five crates stacked and it fit like six, three rows in the front and three in the back. So how many is that? That's like four times six. And four times six is 24. So yeah, it's, it'll be like 24 totes on the thing. And yeah, so like he'll give me two pallets at a time sometime. And y'all, I used to hate that because dang, like, can I just do my, do my, um, little low and relax? Like I be going fast for, I go some wet fast for a reason. Cause I know sometimes like with other water spiders, it take them a minute to get another pallet. So I can chill out until I get a new pallet. But nah, y'all, he'll give me two at a time, and yeah, I'll never catch a break with him. But yeah, some like I, but it was just this one particular water spider. The other water, the other water spiders, they was cool or whatever, whatever. But they wouldn't really give me, you know, they'll let me chill out a little bit. But yeah, that's the job. Um, the pay I got paid fifty. Hey y'all. Um. I know y'all finna be looking crazy because I look different from the previous clip. Because let me tell y'all, I been posting this video out for y'all and I been recording it, but my I record on my phone, so like sometimes it'll stop like in the middle of my me recording and I have to start it again. But and this is what happened in that situation, and it did not save the clip that it stopped on. So. I had to re-record. So that's why I'm different. This is a different day. This is like, I recorded this probably two weeks ago. So yeah, here I am fixing to re-record what I already recorded. So yeah, that show y'all I'm dedicated because I could have just left it on. But yeah, all right. So back to the video. Let me see why I left off at y'all. All right, y'all. So we gonna go with pay i got paid 1580 but it's just for my shift i had like the regular basic morning um weekday shift so they don't pay as much but say for instance, say for instance you're working overnight and or you're working on the weekends you get paid more so it just depends on what shift you pick for your pay but the pay is right beside all the shifts so you'll know you know, but I just, I, you know, I picked the regular shift, so I got paid fifteen eighty. And once again, like I said, you get paid weekly, you get paid every Friday, but you won't get paid the first Friday that you start working. So your first paycheck is going to be next Friday. Um, they give you time and a half on holidays and when you have to do mandatory overtime. Um, if you're full time, say for instance, um, Thanksgiving, you got to work on Thanksgiving. So you can pay time and a half to work on Thanksgiving and then they give everybody an extra eight hours on their check. If you're full time, even if you worked on Thanksgiving or not, they give you eight extra hours on your check, but that won't be time and a half. That'd be eight extra hours of your regular pay. You just get paid time and a half on top of that if you work. So, yeah, they're kind of good, you know. I don't mind working on the holidays if you're going to pay me like that. So, yeah, that is kind of good. Um, Okay, so they call the little mandatory things MET and MOT. MET is mandatory extra time. Mandatory extra time is, girl, they call mandatory extra time so many times, y'all. And I told y'all my shift started at 7 a.m. So mentor extra time is basically meaning you got to come to work an hour earlier. And so I would have to be to work at 6 a.m. instead of 7 a.m. And of course you get paid time and a half for the extra hour. But still like it's inconveniencing me because I would have to get up at 5.45 to get to be there at 7 a.m. So to be there at 6 a.m. I had to get up at 4.45 in the morning and like it was hard y'all it was hard but i did it 
Okay, and MOT is mandatory overtime. So when you sign up for a shift, you're also signing up for a mandatory overtime day. My mandatory overtime day was on Sunday. So if they call mandatory overtime, then that means I had to come to work on Sunday, my regular shift time. So like I said, my regular shift time is seven was 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. So I would have to, if they call mandatory overtime, I would have to come to work on Sunday from 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. But I would get paid time and a half for that whole shift. So yeah, the whole three months that I worked there, they only called mandatory overtime one time. So I only had to come to work one Sunday the whole while I was there. So I don't think they do that very frequently. Maybe during the holidays, but I quit right before the holidays. So, yeah, that didn't get me. But they always was calling that mentor each time, though. So, just be prepared. Whatever shift you sign up for, if you want to if you wanna work here, um, you may have to come in an hour earlier. Or, I don't know. Like, I don't know how the shifts go. Like, maybe if you, like, work night shift or something, they might make you stay, like, an hour later. But, I don't know. For my shift, they made us come in an hour earlier. Also, let's move on to breaks. So, my um specific location gave two 30-minute breaks. So, like, the first break is unpaid. So, you have to clock out for the first break. And then the second break is paid. But I just want to tell y'all, this thing on break rooms be full most of the time i ate in the stairwell because i'm anti anyway so like i don't like being around people like a lot of people for real for real so yeah i would kind of sort of just eat in the stairways and also covid y'all covid and, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and sometimes they would change our breaks to well okay for my with my shift, my break was on was at 10 a.m. and 2.30, but sometimes they would move them an hour down. Like, sometimes they'll move the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., or either they'll move the 2.30 to 3.30. And y'all, honestly, I would prefer, I prefer them to move the 2.30 break to 3.30 because then, you know, we'll come back from break at 4 and I get off at 5.30, so it only be an hour and a half left. But when they moved at 10 to 11, y'all, I used to, ooh, woo, because we had an already, we already be there from 7 a.m. So we not getting no break or nothing. We working straight until 10. So imagine now I got to wait a whole nother hour. Y'all, I used to be starving. And then, like, so you, you working, you constantly moving. So, like, you burning off a lot of energy. So I used to get so hungry and tired. But yeah, that's breaks. Um, they would move. Oh yeah, let me just tell y'all, they would move the breaks sometimes due to blitz. And blitz is when a lot of items fall out the pod on the on the little robotic little floor where the robots eat. So like, Amnesty would have to go and get and clean the floor so the pods can run smoothly. So yeah, that's they would um move the breaks because Amnesty would go out and clear clean the floor while we on break. So I think they would let Amnesty go to break before us. So they'll be ready to do that when we be on break. Okay, let's talk about the environments, y'all. Like I said, it was hot. And I think all factories, well, I ain't never worked in a factory before or warehouse, whatever you want to call it. But I feel like all of them are hot because I see people complaining all the time. So, yeah. Um, most of the time, you're by yourself. The only time somebody gonna come up to you is like if you're doing something wrong, like your manager or like it's another job title of people that walk around with carts, well computers. It be carts with computers on top of them, and they'll kind of sort of you know say you know you did this 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 and you know tell you how the right way to do whatever you did wrong. So yeah, basically nobody gonna bother you unless you're doing something wrong. So there's no micromanaging, and that's what I like, y'all, because. Y'all know the customer service jobs are full of micromanaging and I just need to get away from that. So I actually like that. Like I'd rather work here than any of my other jobs that I have talked about on this channel. Um, Let's go to time off. Now this is one down, y'all. One down. 
So you got UPT, you got PTO, and you got vacation time. UPT, of course, is unpaid time off. PTO is paid time off and, you know, vacation time for vacation. But there is no calling out at this job. You have to have time. You have to have time. So, like, if you don't come to work, like, say, for instance, you don't come to work, you sick or whatever, whatever, there's no calling out. So, if you don't come, they're going to automatically take your UPT time. And if you don't have no UPT time and you get in the negatives, you get fired. You get fired. So, make sure, you know, you saving your time and stuff for, like, if stuff happens. Like, because, you know, stuff happens, you know. You get sick, you might have some type of family issue or something and you can't come to work. But Amazon ain't playing it. Like you not you not getting no time off if you don't have time off without getting fired. So yeah. but on an on the flip side, y'all, you do accumulate time really fast. So it's no way that you won't have time unless you're constantly using it and abusing it, basically. Like, if you constantly missing days off and stuff, you know, because they're 10 hours shift. So, that's 10 whole hours taken away from your UPT or PTO or vacation. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. There's no calling out. So, if you ain't got no time... Yeah, they're gonna take it from your UPT and your UPT gonna get in negatives and you get fired. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to dress code. You can wear anything basically. The only thing they really care about is your shoes. Like you have to have you have to have on closed toe shoes and your hair. Like this, this no. I can't even just put this in a this, this is not okay either. Like, I can't just put this in the ponytail and have it hanging. Like, the hair has to stop from here. Like, it cannot be hanging past here. And it cannot be in your face. So, like, it has to be pulled up and, you know, like, up, up. So, yeah. It was not... Like, I, I'll uh, post a picture of me. Because I had some long faux locks majority of my time when I worked there. And I, I used to have this big old bun at the top of my head, y'all. I'm going to post a picture of it. It's going to be right there. But, yeah, I always had to put it in the bun, and I hated that. Like, I hated having to wake up every morning and put all that hair into a bun. But, of course, it was my choice on getting all that hair. So, I mean, yeah. But, yeah, that's basically it, y'all. And, of course, no long nails. Like, no long nails. I don't know if this okay or not. But, I don't know. I don't work there no more, so. But, I don't know. This might be too long. Because they be saying they want it to be your regular. Well, these are my nails, granted. But, they want it to be uh, not passing here, I don't think. I don't think you're supposed to have no nails. But, I don't know. I didn't have nails anyways. So, yeah. Oh. Um, Oh, yeah, another side note, y'all. The building I worked in had four floors, and you couldn't use the elevator unless you had a disability. So, y'all. <laughs> I used to have to, I used to just come to work like 10 minutes earlier, and just so I could have time to get up all them stairs if I was scheduled to work on the fourth floor, y'all, because. Your girl is out of shape, y'all. Your girl is out of shape. I cannot run and speed walk up all them flights of stairs. Like, every floor is at least, and not even, probably more than that, but at least two flights of stairs. So, if I'm on the fourth floor, that's at least eight flights of stairs that I would have to walk up to just to get to my station where I'm assigned to. So, y'all, it's a workout. It is a workout. So, yeah, keep that in mind also if you work at one with floors. You ain't going to be able to use the elevator, baby. You got to get to work early unless you just want to be late. Or either you okay with, you know, speed walking and running up those stairs. But your girl can't do it. I been don't feel like before I even got to the station. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another side note for y'all. Um, I want to say, and that is it for this video. I will, um... 
say again that I prefer this job over any customer service job because, like, I didn't really have a bad experience or anything. The only reason why I quit is because I got another job. So, yeah, if it weren't for that, I would have still been working there. But, yeah, that's that for this video. And, you know, if it's enough questions, I might make a part two. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next video.